If 10 coins are flipped, what is the probability of obtaining at least one head? We want to know about the number of heads, so I would think you might want to actually visualize it. If you're tossing a coin 10 times, you could get anywhere from no heads all the way up to 10 heads and anything in between. So if you think about it that way, when they're asking us the probability of obtaining at least one head, they're asking for all of those cases, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or even 10 heads. I hope that makes it obvious that it's much easier to just find the probability that you don't get any heads and use the complement rule. In other words, the probability of at least one head is one minus the probability of zero heads. So all we have to do really is find the probability that you don't get any heads, plug it in here and get one minus that and we'll be done. So let's go back now and find the probability of getting no heads. Each flip comes out to either be heads or tails. There are two possibilities. And by the fundamental counting principle, that means there are 2 times 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 2 different ways. That's another way of saying 2 to the 10th. In any case, you get 1,024 different ways that 10 coins can be flipped. But only one of those 1,024 ways comes out to be no heads, and that's when you get tail, 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 tail. So the probability of getting no heads is only one out of 1,024. Take that result, plug it in to the complement rule. The probability of at least one head is one minus one over 1,024. One can be written as 1,024 over 1,024. And you subtract one, you get 1,023 over 1,024.